Addressing and cautioning the impacts of climate change in Nigeria is a collective task of not just the government or non-governmental organizations, but everyone. These are the words of stakeholders as, at a discourse to proffer solutions to cushioning the effects of climate change. Plus TV news correspondent Emmanuel Olubaboku reports on the impact of the crisis and how best to caution the impact. The impacts of climate change and various non-weather related hazards have given rise to an increasing number of small and medium-sized disasters affecting vulnerable communities disproportionately. Without attention or international visibility, these disasters will require funding to bring succor to victims, leaving those affected at risk of being completely neglected. Nigeria's climate is changing. Temperatures are increasing. There is less rainfall and more frequent extreme weather conditions. This causes flooding, land degradation, pollution of water supplies and a loss of biodiversity. There is a need to move around the aftermath of climate change as it is affecting the country today. Thus, the need for all to work together to cushion the effect of the crisis. We talk of local action and strong national societies. Local action meaning to say the national society in country in a particular region, they should be able to actually assist the communities in their, in their own locality. We look at the Nigerian Red Cross, for instance. It's not an NGO like most people think. It's a, an auxiliary to government by law because it's established by the Nigerian Red Cross Act. So it has a mandate actually to assist. So this is the difference with the, with, with the general, with any other international organization that we have. So they have a mandate to assist and they have to be a strong partner to the government and stakeholders here present. So we have to look at and focus on them to say, how do we best help them? The impact of climate change is already here and people are suffering. However, responding to the disasters are collective responsibilities of both the people and organizations. In this case, the Red Cross has funds are indeed needed to assist affected communities. A representative of the International Federation of Red Cross speaks. Here in Nigeria too, we are seeing a flooding that has impacted um, you know, at least half a million people and 300 people have died. Right? And, and what we are saying is that the, the impact of climate change is already here and people are suffering uh, from the impact of climate change. But the actors like ourselves in the Red Cross, who traditionally respond to these disasters, cannot do it alone. And, and we need support from partners like government, but in particular like we have our partners here today in Nigeria, the private sector, that can contribute to, to strengthening the resilience of the people. The Red Cross Society has been in the forefront of assisting citizens or individuals affected by the impact of climate change, but they alone cannot be left in the struggle. The challenge of climate change actually is in our communities. So it has become very critical and pertinent for us to work with uh, other key stakeholders and solicit for collaboration and cooperation in mitigating against the impacts of this uh, uh, situation. Uh, governments at all levels, private sector, groups and individuals should make all efforts actually to stem the tide of this national calamity. It is expected that in the coming decades, the temperature will continue to rise across all ecological zones. As such, climate change, mitigation and adoption measures are greatly needed in Nigeria. Emmanuel Ulubububukun, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.